remember the first time I realized how incredibly important moms are and how they have leadership abilities that can be transferred to the workplace. And as a woman, for us to give birth and to continually rebirth, we are incredible leaders and incredibly influential. He gave me this card for my 40th birthday, and it's two women that are walking in a shopping plaza. And one is saying to the other, to stay young, the doctor said to exercise and eat the right foods. The other one says, what, what? Like she can't hear, because of course at 40 we're getting old. And the other one says, I thought he said accessorize and buy nice shoes. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I need to get rid of anything I don't need anymore. I need to just get rid of all the old stuff. Get rid of anything that is not serving me anymore. And so every month she comes to my house and we go through all my old junk and we get rid of stuff. Last year, I lost 12 pounds. <laughs> ...guide with a look at momager skills for small business owners. When we talk about what it takes to run a business, you can really translate what it takes to be a mom or a dad to doing that, right? Yes, oh totally you can because when you are running a family, you use what I call the victory leadership skills. Okay. And then V is visioning, and that's the vision for your family. What, you know, what do I want this family to do together as a team? Or you can use that for your business. Every successful business has to have that long-term vision. Goal. You know, yeah, goal. What do I want this business to look like? And for me, with Training Solutions, my my vision for my company is to be able to educate and empower women so that they can balance their life more and so that they can have more joy and victory. So that's a V. A handkerchief. Now, what does this mean? <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> Sometimes this handkerchief is attached to my kitchen light fixture. And when it is, my husband and my kids know it is time to surrender. <laughs> If I just wake up and I feel really edgy, it works. And, you know, it's, we don't even have to talk about it. Everybody knows, it's just a white flag. And so it's time to surrender. I is influential communication. You know, moms, when they have children, they just read that little baby. You know, mm -hmm. babies don't talk. Yeah. We pick up on all the body language, we pick up on all the feelings and everything that they need. And so too, we can use those in our business environment. You know, what do our clients need? What do our customers need? And being proactive about that makes us more successful. So that's the I. Last year, my mother-in-law was diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor. And going through this process of this past year with Mary was amazing. Because when she was diagnosed, she had great, great faith. And she started saying things like, well, you know, I believe that this is meant to be, and there's lessons here. And you know, God gave this to me for a reason. And so I'm just gonna take it with grace and try to move on. And we saw Mary go through this process of dying and it was an incredible one for our family because what happened with our faith was we grew so strong as our family. And my husband and I, every day, we got to a point where, you know, you have so many decisions to make with the health care and the housing and all this. And every day, my husband and I would get up, we'd pray together, and then we would ask the question, what's the best we can do with what we have? What we did for Mary was, actually a week before she passed away, we held a formal tea party for her because Mary was a proper lady and, you know, her whole life she liked to have, you know, beautiful dishes and beautiful things around her. And so I went out and, with my kids and we made finger sandwiches and we had tea and we just made a beautiful lunch and we sat around um, with her and we all told her how much she meant to us. And it was so beautiful. I mean, my kids, you know, my daughter Tina just said, you know what, Grandma, what I love about you is you still have the most biggest, beautiful smile. And Mary could hardly talk at that point. But I'll tell you, after everyone, she would say, thank you and love you. And I think that's so beautiful because that's what spirit's all about. Thank you and love you.
in victory is coaching through constant change because just like a woman, a woman when she becomes pregnant and her whole body changes, your whole mind changes, your whole approach to what's happening in the world, you become so much more nurturing and understanding and caring about other people because you know your child's going to be carrying out in, into the future. So constant change dealing with that well. How much do you think a mom is worth? Throw out some numbers. How much? 200,000, okay, a little bit lower. <laughs> but you know what, we are priceless, aren't we? Yes, we are. 100,000, a little bit higher. Okay, we're doing the auction thing. Lower, higher, in between, a little bit higher. 150, just a little bit lower. Okay, you're close enough, I'll give you that. It's $142,844. So you can just stand up a little bit straighter when you're at the grocery store knowing that, can't you? And T is team building. You know, moms are great team builders. They look at their family and think, you know what, every mom just wants their family to be happy and healthy. And they transfer that to the workplace as well. Well, we need to just have some more friends and have some more fun. And so what we did was we made up a little flyer and we put the flyer in everybody's, you know, not in their mailbox, because that's illegal, but we put it on that little red flag thing. We put the little flyer in there and we said, we, we want to start a women's group in the neighborhood. If you want to come, show up this day, this time, well, we had 20 women come. Long story short, 10 years later, we have about 50 women in the group. We have a book club, we have bunko group, we have all kinds of groups. And we're this incredible network for each other. And so, you know, if you want to be truly rich and you want to really keep a good handle, just have friends that can support you in your life. And then O is organizing and balancing your life. And then R is resolving conflict and dealing with problems. And any mom that has dealt with the terrible twos <laughs> or the teenage years yeah. or the college years, she's just expert at being able to really read conflict and help problem solve. Your amount of 24 hours in a day, this is your finite amount of time. And what are your priorities? Okay, so you had your work, your career, we'll put it as an apple. Your education, we'll put it in there as an orange. What else did you have? Your family, your extended family. Yeah. For the um, extended family and your family, we're going to use these grapes. And you see there's black grapes in there too. We've got a little bit of everything, you know, and there's lots of them. You know, there's lots of them. So we're gonna put, put them in as our extended family. And we had to manage all these people, your mother and father your brothers and sisters, okay? So here's baby number one, and you're trying to fit it in, okay? Now baby number one is teetered right on top of it, okay? But you can see it's gotten very, very full. Now, if baby number one takes you over the top, which it did for me, um, you have to decide what you're gonna do to make this fit more smoothly. See, baby number one there is on the top right now. But you wanna incorporate baby number one in, and you need to like shift some things around to make baby number one fit, right? And then the why in victory is because you are valuable and the world needs your unique contribution. And when moms have their children, they just love them and pour their heart into them. And so too with your small business. I mean, yeah. you want it to succeed and you want it to be valuable and add value value in the world. And all those things about being a mom really do apply to running a business. Here in the world, we have 6.2 billion people that are living on the planet. 6.2 billion people. And there is not one that is like you. There is not one person on the planet that has your eye color, maybe your hair color, I'll give you that, especially if it's out of a bottle. <laughs> but no one else has your fingerprints. No one has that combination of experiences that you have. And so you are unique. And my husband, I want to recognize him, Bob. David, Tina, and Stephen. And they wrote this for Mother's Day about three years ago for me. Mothers are a special breed. They spend all day with, I need, I need. In each act every child makes, mom has to overlook lots of mistakes. Her loving gaze coaxes and encourages smiles through all the tantrums and the trials. Mom, your job has special rewards. Today we give you this grand award. It's not money, fame, or a brand new car. 
but a love note from the cookie jar. For there is no higher calling than to give yourself away to the cause of loving us each and every day. We love you more than life itself, which you gave us from your very self. And we give you back this heartfelt praise. Mom, you're the best. Hip hip praise! <laughs> in just in case that's still not enough, Mom, we love you and your hot stuff. <laughs> Thank you and God bless. Candace and Mark, Christine Martinello has owned her own training business since 1993, which is the same year she had her first child. Ten years into both jobs, she found a way to merge the two and came up with the concept of women as momagers, a mom and a manager. For Martinello and her Centerville family, a husband and three kids ranging in age from 10 to 13, things like house rules, schedules, activities and chores are clearly posted and set procedures. Yeah. We can do it all in our lifetime, but we have to be clear about, you know, there's a time for everything. And that when you are asked to be a mother, the time to mother is then. Exactly. Yeah. Life holds so much magic for you and for me. So let's work together on this journey so that you can live and leave a loving legacy. Hope you enjoyed the show. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We had so much fun. Christine has a wonderful way of drawing the audience in by sharing her personal stories and truly speaking from her heart. I highly recommend Christine to anyone who wants training or consulting on balancing work and life. I have no doubt they will benefit from her knowledge, energy, and charisma. Christine's style is warm and interactive. She is an outstanding speaker and brings both personal and professional knowledge. I highly recommend her. She receives many positive comments by our leadership team. Christine will help you develop the skills needed to make your legacy happen. She enlightens and empowers women today in their busy, hectic lives. She speaks to us about making the most of our leadership qualities in every aspect of our lives. Through her amazing gift of storytelling, coupled with humor and grace, Christine cleverly weaves her magic with a powerful voice to equip and empower people.